Come on, man, set the knife. Let's go. Hey, what is up? It's Travis Kerr Family Flip Show. So uh, today's episode is going to be about our sales weekend. This was a record sales weekend for us. It's been absolutely insane. This is January. You would traditionally associate our busiest months in Q4, but uh, we just had probably the biggest weekend stretch that, that we've ever had. And I'm going to show you what we sourced, how much we paid for it, what we sold it for. And I'm going to give you a full breakdown uh, at the end. So you may notice that uh, the opening had a little snowboard uh, deal with my son. So that was our backyard. Uh, you may wonder what that has to do with reselling and uh, absolutely nothing other than the snow kind of gave uh, me some time to do some filming uh, of this uh, episode. Uh, if you've never seen this channel before, uh, we uh, are primarily a father-son team that sources items from yard sales, bin stores, thrift stores, and anywhere that we can find something low and sell it again at a profit. Our mission is to really help others that maybe want to do this for themselves, uh, because if we can do it, you can do it too. I'm a full-time banking professional. My son is a high school student, and I really try to design these videos to be pretty fast-paced. Maybe not all of them, but I try to get straight to the heart of the matter uh, so you can just have a, a straight-to-the-meat uh, type episode. So anyway, if you do like content like this, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. We'd be certainly blessed if you would. But anyway, on to the show. Be sure to stay tuned to the end because I'm going to give you a full financial breakdown of everything that's sold today, what our gross sales are, what those items cost us, what it cost us to ship those items, as well as paying seller fees. And so you can kind of get an idea of what you can do as well on your own. So anyway, stay tuned and I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. So we had quite a few larger items sell over the weekend, um, but one of these is this Felker tile cutter. I think we paid around $15 for this at a thrift store. Uh, this just sold for $125, um, so we're gonna get that packaged up. Next thing up is a bread maker, and so traditionally bread makers aren't really the best buy. They did have a really good run through COVID uh, where they were selling extremely well. I mean, there's some that do good for parts. This one, on the other hand was pretty good i think we paid 10 to 15 bucks for this uh, it's like a microwave style uh, bread maker from toastmaster uh, this just sold for a hundred and ten dollars um, so another larger item that will get packaged up next going out is this oldie but goodie uh, magnolite and so we probably paid about five bucks for this if i had to guess uh, maybe five to seven dollars and this just sold for 38.99 plus the buyer paying shipping uh, another trusty sell is this new wave motor um, so this is the motor that goes on top of the glass dome for a convection oven. Uh, this just sold for $29.99. We generally part these out and we don't pay any more than about $10 for the entire unit. And generally the, the glass or plastic piece that goes around this is what sells the best, generally in that $40 to $50 range. Uh, and then I don't know if you saw our vintage toy lot, but this guy um, sold, and I think he had already sold whenever I actually filmed that, but this guy sold for $46.00. And 97 cents so we'll get him packaged up and I'll try to post a link uh, above uh, for that toy lot as well some of this is pretty cool so this is an Akai reel-to-reel -reel, uh, stereo it does have a uh, the wooden cover for it and I got this at Goodwill just last week for like 15 bucks this just sold for hundred and ninety nine dollars plus the buyers paying shipping so a quick turnaround uh, and, and a, a awesome buy uh, I also bought these Keens. Um, I picked these up at an Amazon bin store for $7.49. As you can see, they didn't have the insole. We sold these as pre-owned. Uh, these sold for like $55 plus the buyer paying shipping in excellent shape. These are a men's size 15. Larger sizes of shoes typically do really well. Uh, and so these are Keen like hiking slash work boots. Um, so happy to see those go. And then if you've watched our channel before, you know that we... Uh, bought like hundreds of these I believe uh, this just sold this limb saver goes on the um, end of a gun to kind of save your shoulder uh, just sold for $23 and some change and uh, we paid $3.21 for each of these 
Next up from that vintage toy lot is this King Kong character. Uh, he just sold for $18.99. Didn't carry quite as much value as some of the others, but we paid $9.99 for the full um, lot. So definitely happy to uh, see him go to a new home. Um, the next thing up is this uh, Cricut. We've sold a number of these over the last maybe year and a half or so. And so these, um, generally we pick up for like 10 to 15 bucks if at all possible. Um, and then this one just sold for $49.99 plus the buyer paying shipping. And then this just, uh, this Wii drum set, actually, um, this is for Xbox uh, 360. So this just sold for $99. Um, I don't have it all set up because we're about to ship this out, but it does give you an idea of how condensed uh, these little drum sets can be. So always a good set to, um, always a good thing to comp out whenever you're out at a thrift store and see some of these video game drum sets. Next up is the Salad Master uh, Skillet. So Salad Master is a very good uh, pot brand to be on the lookout for. They don't always have the most distinguishable markings. Uh, the main way that you can tell on this particular one is that the Salad Master is written on the pot lid. So this just sold for $33, paid around, probably paid around five bucks for this. Um, the buyer's paying shipping. Next up is this Delta soap dispenser. Um, I think you probably get the idea, but we actually bought an entire Delta faucet and parted this out separately from that faucet. Um, so this just sold for $29.99, which probably more than paid for the faucet, which is still listed um, maybe for you know, $50, $60. Uh, next up are these Ultra running shoes. Ultra is a pretty good brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, some do not sell as well as others, but they have a very distinctive shape, um, very well known in the running community. Uh, these just sold for $50 plus shipping. We paid $15 for these at a flea market. And then next up is this uh, Aris uh, vacuum parts um, for the hose. Uh, so these just, or these extenders or wands, whatever you want to call them, just sold for $24. Uh, Electro, uh, Aris is made by Electrolux, but if you ever see the Aris designation, I believe it's like A-E-R-U-S, uh, generally carry a lot of value, so uh, these little guys just went out for $24. Next out the door are these uh, New Balance Minimalist shoes. I bought these at Goodwill for $6. These just sold for $49.99. Uh, so these are uh, minimalist running shoes, so for people that are doing running training that maybe you want to have a little less support and these actually have a very high sell through so happy to find those uh, this uh, is a logitech steering wheel some of these don't carry a lot of value this one happened to be pretty decent just sold for 75 dollars probably paid 10 bucks for this uh, at a thrift store uh, so we're going to get that packaged up next up is a slide projector this one came all nice and sealed up again, maybe t in the 10 to $15 range at a thrift store. What we paid for this um, Kodak Ektograph uh, so that we're about to get packaged up, and this just sold for um, $63 plus the buyer paying shipping. So we'll get that sent out to its new home. These slide projectors actually are really good to, to be on the lookout for, however, just be careful because. They do have a lot of moving parts. They are older, so um, they, they do also have a lot that can go wrong as well, but uh, super happy to get that sent out. Next up is the Sansui uh, tuner, uh, AM FM tuner. So Sansui, if you see the brand there, is a really good vintage brand to be on the lookout for. We had never sold it before until probably like four or five months ago, and now we've sold probably three or four of these. I probably only have a few bucks into this one uh, because I think it came with some other ones. Uh, but this just sold for $22 plus the buyer paying shipping. So this one didn't carry quite as much value as some of the others that we've sold. Uh, but, you know, super happy to get that out, especially if you only have a few bucks into it. Um, this is a Braun uh, replacement coffee uh, care of that we bought uh, maybe for three to five bucks. Uh, this just sold for a grand total of $29.99. So we'll get that sent out and uh, it hasn't been listed long at all so uh, that was a very fast seller then the other thing that we found fully complete for five bucks is this adobe photoshop believe it or not this just sold for 118 dollars so a really good find a really good sell and uh, happy to see this go to a new home so continuing on with the larger item sales is this zenith uh, vcr dvd combo this is actually a recorder which means it generally carries more value if it can record from vhs to over to DVD, which a lot of people like to do. Uh, I think I paid $5 for this at a Goodwill, if I'm not mistaken. This just sold for $59.99. 
The next thing up is this uh, heavy duty heavy duty metal punch bind system um, from Ibico, if that's how you say that. And so this I uh, just sold for $44.99 plus the buyer paying shipping. And so we'll get this big Haas packaged up as well. Another thing, oh, and we probably have maybe 10 to 15 bucks into this as well. And then these, next things up are these retro Jordan 1s uh, that we probably paid five or six bucks for. These just actually sold for $90. Uh, they were originally listed at $119 uh, with the hope of getting them, getting these to around a $100 purchase price because if you sell shoes on eBay for $100 or higher, uh, unless they just recently changed that, you didn't pay eBay fees. So, uh, but nonetheless, uh, they've been sitting a while, so I took an offer at $90, so definitely happy to see those go, especially for the price that we paid. So next going out is this uh, protein powder. I bought this at an Amazon bin store for around $7.49, and then just, this just sold for $69.97. Uh, I had another video where I showed us buying this, and I said it looked like me trying to fit into my pants here, uh, especially after the holidays. You see so yeah, how it's all like sunk in, but it did not stop it from selling, so that's really good. Uh, this Osmo uh, Pizza uh, Company, uh, I bought it at Goodwill for um, I think three dollars, and these you uh, use for like educational games, and you hook up to an iPad. Uh, we just sold that for twenty-eight dollars, so um, we'll get that packaged up. And then the next thing from the vintage toy lot that I was discussing earlier, this is from Battle Battlestar Galactica. Uh, so another item from that lot sold. We're already at probably close to $700 in sales with another probably $600 or so to go uh, from that lot. And then this just sold for $35 uh, this ship. And then the next item that is going out is this Cuisinart food processor uh, replacement bowl. Uh, so we probably only have a few dollars into this. We'll buy these and then part them out. They seem to do better that way. Uh, this plastic piece just sold for $29.99. Another really good find is this Echo Quest uh, air purifier. Uh, Camden paid about $7 for this at a thrift store. And believe it or not, this thing just sold for $125. Uh, so a really good sell there. So anytime you see these, are, these are made in the USA. Uh, this actually says made in Greenville, Tennessee. Uh, but definitely take a look at those because very well may be worth picking up. And it's not all that big either. So uh, really happy about that. Uh, next up is, I don't know if you saw a previous video, but I was at a Goodwill and they had half off. For whatever reason, I ended up picking this up for $1.50. And uh, this is just sold for $50. So $1.50 into $50. Uh, we'll take that all day long. And next up, one of my favorite finds of the entire day are these um, Nike Dunks for kids. Uh, but not only are these Nike Dunks, these are golf shoes. And for whatever reason, these things had really high demand. And if these were adult shoes, would probably command over $100. But these little guys just sold for $54.97. So we'll get those out to their new home. Going out next is this Night Shred Supplement. I actually bought this yesterday for $7.49 at a bin store. And this supplement, I guess it shreds you up all at night. I guess I should have actually kept this uh, instead and just taken it for myself. But um, I guess I won't get all shredded up <laughs> because this just sold for $50. Um, so we're gonna get this packaged up and sent out. Another thing that we just bought yesterday is this Bissell Steam Shot. Uh, I'm not going to open it, but this is essentially a steamer that goes with a Bissell vacuum, um, I believe, or it's just the steamer, handheld steamer on its own. Uh, this just sold for $39.99, so really, Amazon bin store already paying off. Uh, bought these yesterday, both already sold. Uh, $50 and $40 respectively. And then this is a Porter Cable Nettler. I bought this at a yard sale, I think back over the summer. We sold several of these. I think we bought a lot of these together. Um, we may have 10 bucks into this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this just sold for $40, uh, so we'll get that packaged up as well. Next up is a small sale, but a good sale. So this is a print head for an HP OfficeJet Pro. 8600 and so there's certain series of these HPs to where the print heads actually sell really well. This one just sold for $99. Still have a napkin under it just to make sure it doesn't leak on anything uh, and just to protect it. But 
uh, if you somewhat printers on their own can have an actually a pretty high return rate uh, so sometimes they can be good to part out not always um, so but this one little piece from a printer we probably paid about 10 bucks for uh, just sold for $99 so really happy about that another one of our better sales of the weekend is this East End Ghost Bat um, probably paid around 10 bucks for this this believe it or not just sold for $200 uh, so we're gonna get that shipped out and let somebody crack some home runs with that I believe that's a softball bat uh, if I'm not mistaken another really cool find are these uh, Brooks and these are Brooks launch but sometimes the Brooks will have like limited edition releases and you can see these are tie-dyes uh, I paid uh, five dollars and ninety nine cents for these uh, at a Goodwill and these just sold for sixty three dollars and ninety seven cents plus the buyer paying shipping so these are actually an older uh, launch I believe if I'm not mistaken but because of this unique colorway and the condition that they are in they still command good money Next up is we parted this off of a shark vacuum cleaner. Uh, this little wand attachment piece just sold for $19.99. And then these are um, Rainmate air purifiers. And I think I sometimes call them humidifiers because they kind of do look like a humidifier. But these are actually really good. I paid up for this a little bit at a Goodwill uh, last week. I paid $15 for this. But it sold quickly, um, so I don't really mind. And this just sold for $52 today. Um, so a really good turnaround. So anytime you see these Rainmates, which I believe are made by Rainbow uh, vacuum cleaners, uh, the same company, then uh, you definitely want to look at picking those up if they're reasonably priced. All right, and rounding out is this uh, Shark vacuum hose. Uh, I believe this just sold for around 24 bucks. Uh, so this was a part of a massive uh, lot of hoses that Camden and I bought at a flea market And then this is a Kenmore progressive hose. This just sold for $49.99 We love Kenmore progressive because you can typically buy them for like 10 to 15 bucks And if they don't work the parts alone just really make up for it. I mean just just one piece like uh, which is this is one of the better pieces just sold for 50 bucks so uh, super happy about that there was one there was one more hose that sold and this is a rainbow hose that also came in the same lot uh, that I got this hose in that we bought at a flea market a massive lot of these this just sold for $27 um, so we'll get this packaged up uh, as well so as you can see uh, we do like to sell these vacuum pieces and accessories when we can so here's our final breakdown so this uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, our total sales of the items you just saw were $3,167.76 over the course of those three days. So eBay withheld uh, $199.11 to pay the sales tax on those items. Our total eBay fees were $392.26, which is essentially what they charge for selling on their platform. Our total shipping cost uh, and we do use eBay and Pirate Ship, but our total um, shipping cost between those two platforms was $515.70. I'm gonna call it $1 an item, so $44 for shipping supplies and things of that nature. That may be uh, a little aggressive, but uh, we'll just throw that in there um, just to be on the safe side. Our total cost of goods for everything that sold for $3,167.76 so each of those items that you saw, the 44 items, cost us approximately $327. That's also referred to as your cost of goods sold. So that brings our total fees to $1,478.07. That means over the course of just three days, not counting the other four days during the week where we probably sell a little bit more uh, than we do on the weekend, uh, give or take, uh, but that gives us a net profit over those three days of $1,689.69. So super uh, good weekend for us. Hey, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you do like content like this as a reminder, please be sure to like and subscribe. Certainly blessed if you did. Anyway, look forward to seeing you on the next one.